In the previous video, we used the first type of meeting, the coincident meet, and we remember that we floated that part. So now you can get back and fix it again after we inserted that meet. So you have your part fixed on that origin of the assembly. So now let's try to find uh, uh, another use for the coincident meet. This insert component browse and click part two so now we have a second part this just added there and if you want to insert another part you can go to the insert and again browse for part two but you have other another easier way you can click on control and drag that part you'll be able to create different files by using the control so now let's activate the mails let's select the that edge and click mail and then click the fixed part or surface so you will have the option to make them coincident so as you see here and if you want to flip the direction you can click on that arrow so you will flip the mid then click ok so you notice that we have that surface, the bottom surface is coincident with the bottom surface of that. So let's try to use another case. Let's select that edge and then select that edge. You will notice that the mate is still open. Click that edge. So coincident also will be work. When you are done, click OK. So you see that we had different cases we made the coincident with the point the surface and now uh, with an edge so again to fix so it, let's try to make these two blocks on each other you can again select that surface and the surface then you have the coincident then click ok you will also able to create that with the edges so now we have two parts are inserted in each other when you are done click OK so if you have a part is not required or so you can delete it by find it here then right click delete yes so now we have two parts inserted in each other if you try to insert another mail logically it will not be necessary so you'll get an overdefined message so that means you don't need that because now your assembly is fully defined as you see here